Hi, Dr. Jill Krista here, helping you with how to submit a tick. If you have found a tick on and embedded in someone you care about, you need to send that tick in for testing. So I'm showing you what that would look like. This is a little pill pack I get from the drugstore, and I have put the tick in here, and it's hard to see, but if my thumb is right there where that tick is, it is smaller than a poppy seed. And this was an embedded tick that was embedded for 24 hours. So it ate for 24 hours and it's still that tiny. So you never know, you never can tell if a tick has eaten long enough to give you anything that it's carrying like Lyme disease um, by the size of the tick. Because the itty bitty, itty bitty ones may be fat, but they look tiny to us because they are a small tick. Put it with a little bit of paper towel that is moistened, just damp, not wet. Seal that, and then you put this in an envelope addressed to your favorite tick testing place. My current favorite is UMass, University of Massachusetts. Their lab, the reason I like them, they're an academic lab, they're collecting data, they're the most affordable for the most tests that you can get, and they also collect the data and report it back for public health so we get better information about where Lyme is distributed. Also you can go to their stats page, you can enter your zip code or zip codes around you and find out if you're in an endemic area. So you just take your envelope, put in your little sample, and send it off to the lab. You put your own return address address on there. I didn't do that yet. Um, but that's the address you would use, and you can go to the UMass website and submit your tick. It's easier to test a tick than test a human body. I hope this helps.